that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No mercy.
find the base, we have to find somewhere we can get into the sewer. Hey, Kamaru, before we do that, there's something I want to know. Hmm? What about? Uh, um, you said I'm your friend? I did say that. Why do you ask? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you, my number one is still Master. Um, okay? But something like that, that's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? Toko, do you know what friends are? D don't patronize me! It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends. Become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have a... Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... What? Never mind. I don't know. What the hell? Talk to me here. Well, I don't think you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. But that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. It doesn't feel real. Am I annoying, Kamaru, the way I am now? Don't I annoy you? I, I couldn't be friends. Well, how about this? Can I call you Toki? Who the hell is that? It'll be your nickname. Oh, I... I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. Never? Not even as a kid? Well, I hope we get along together, Toki. <sighs> what happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? Uh, it's fine. I will withstand it. I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. Now, say it again. Say it one more time. I will not retreat! Toki? No, 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 it's, it's too much. Never mind. I'm just gonna call you Toko again. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. Hmm. Looks like we can't go any further. Let's head back.
It looks like another present. Yeah. Doesn't look like it'd do any damage, but it might be of some use. You're right. comes in handy if you use it right. Even a Monokuma. We gotta look for a place we can get into the sewers. Oh. Oh. 
It's that arcade machine again. Do you think they will gather around the part of the wall that's gonna collapse? darker if we keep going? Is it really going to be okay? Dangerous. Isn't that floor over there about to collapse?
It's another arcade machine. A floor. Maybe you can break it with an explosion? Start a chain explosion by controlling something? You're awfully excited by all that destruction. You're actually a terrifying woman deep down. Toko, look! Looks like we can get down now! Wow, that sure was an impressive show. For a virgin. What, what does that have to do with anything? We go down this ladder, we can get down to the sewers. Yeah, but do you really intend to go back to those guys? We're fugitives, you know? If we go back there, we'll be captured with no questions asked. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Which one is it? If we explain ourselves, I'm sure they'll understand. We have the same goal. We all want to stop those out-of-control kids, right? And if it's for that cause, I bet they'll lend us a hand. And they'll rescue Biakia, too! Wow, you've changed quite a bit. You really think those spineless cowards are going to risk it and cooperate with us? It will be fine. I'm more of a coward than they are, but I'm still doing my best. Well, if you say so, I believe you. <laughs> After all, we're friends. You look really scary when you say that. What do you mean I'm scary? Fine, be that way. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Hey, wait, Togo! I was just kidding! From the very beginning! It's no use acting like you don't know! I heard it all! <clears throat> Confess! You were lying to us the whole time! <laughs> hey, you guys breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Like cookies, glassware, the window at that girl you like's house. More than plenty, damn it! Sh shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history! And this guy interfered! Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. I mean, what the hell's with you, Nagisa? What's up your ass? You know what, actually, don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. 
<laughs> Didn't I tell you to shut up? Ooh, Ooh, so scary. And what are you going to do about me? This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's all your fault. Don't be mad, Nagisa. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. Huh? M Monica. What did you say? Ahem. Like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. What did you tell him to do? I asked him to bring Miss Kumar and Nayagi all the way back here. You were lying, right? This is some kind of joke, right? Sorry, it's the truth. Lies? Why? Why would you do something like that? Oh, that's too bad. No matter how smart you might be, you still don't understand it, hmm? Huh? But I guess that's to be expected. I never gave you a proper explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? What needs explaining? We're going to make a paradise, right? And, and that's why we caused this revolution, right? Sorry, Monica doesn't care about paradise or anything like that. What? Oh, I guess you can say that the paradise I want and the one you want are different things. No interest whatsoever in a paradise where kids can live peacefully. S stop kidding around, Monica! What the heck is this? Sorry, but this is all for the sake of the successor to Junko and Oshima. Huh? Successor? Yes, the second generation of Big Sis Junko. That's what I'm after. Mayim is different from Mr. Servant, but we agreed to work together at the beginning. So don't get so jealous, Nagisa. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Monica? It's fine, it's fine. You just have to keep doing your best for my sake. perverted thoughts about me, right? Stop! Please, stop! You're glad you got to kiss Monica, right? If you work hard, I can do other things too, you know. So you'll listen to Monica's little request, right? Don't come near me! Get away from me! You have such a hard time. Everyone has high expectations of you because you're so smart. And you even have high expectations for yourself. And you're always suffering from that, right? I said, don't come near me! But Monica won't expect anything of you. What? From the very start, I never expected anything of you. That's why I kept the successor a secret. After all, you're just a weak, weak little child that no one expects anything from. I said get back! 
Maybe nobody ever expected anything of you in the first place. You probably just thought they did. Maybe it was all a misunderstanding. Don't come near me! Get back! Get back! Jeez, Monica! So vulgar as usual! Seriously. You hit a girl. How uncool. But... Monica loves how uncool and worthless you are, Nagisa. Monica loves you most in the whole wide world. If you want Monica to have high expectations of you, you gotta listen to Monica's requests, okay? For Monica's sake, kill all the adults. Risk your life for Monica. Isn't that nice, Nagisa? <laughs>